Hey y'all, Yokel here. I've been asking myself if ninjas can work for the past two years. Every once in a while I try, and uh, I think I have a deck that, maybe with some adjustments, I'm not sure, uh, is competitive. Um, in standard rank. Here is the reason that it is competitive. Inde Ingenious Prodigy is a great, uh, it's a great attacker early that you can use ninjutsu with. It becomes a card engine later on, and later still it can be a beater for you if you need one or something like that on defense. Uh, another. Uh, early attacker here that can sometimes be relevant later. Uh, and these guys um, who, uh, because they have flash and flying, are very relevant. Fairy Vandal pairs very nicely with an ingenious prodigy that is ticking off an extra card every turn. Uh, so this can get big and become a real threat. Uh, we have a cheap ninjutsu uh, with Moon Circuit Hacker. Um, the only other two ninjutsu options, well, three. Silver for a master, which is more to pump up guys than uh, for the cheaper ninjutsu, because, um, you know, he's as cheap as it gets. Uh, we have a biting palm ninja. Uh, you want to play that early if you can. Uh, take a look and see what the other guy's plan is. Um, after that, you know, he's still a relevant 3 3 body. Um, and you're not really worried about attacking with him. Uh, plus we have Satoru Umaziwa, who, um, relevant blocker. Um, I am not sure about him, uh, because I only have, uh, like six things to trigger the first part of him, but he is a way to, uh, along with Kaido Shizuki, cheat out Tox for the Corrosive, uh, though usually Kaido Shizuki's, you know, a lot of the time not going to be getting to, to seven, uh, and you'd rather have the regular card draw uh, option there, but he uh, can, in theory, Go and tutor him up or Shieldred, the Apocalypse. Uh, plays very, very nicely with all of the draw cards. We also have Cryptic Coat, which creates a ton of card advantage uh, and just a great facilitator for the Ninjutsu as well. And for instance, if uh, the thing that is Ninjutsu'd out, you know, that is a, a Put into the into the field that way, you can potentially ninjutsu it back into your hand if it is not a creature, for instance. Uh, so if you really need that path of peril, or if you really need malicious eclipse, most likely you don't at that point in the game, or the end, uh, or something. Um, maybe they have a planeswalker. That is something that you can bring back to your hand with ninjutsu, or even a land, uh, with ninjutsu. Um, so it all works together quite nicely. There may still be some uh, small amounts of revision uh, that are going to go on here. Uh, we've got a little bit of white sources, two white sources, plus Mirax, uh, in case you need to cast a big path of peril. Um, <clears throat> And uh, several basics, plus Otawara, Takanuma, uh, for early plays, for uh, after board wipes and stuff like that. You're not really looking to um, uh, mill yourself or mill them out. Uh, that, if anything, is not really all that relevant. But um, 
and for later. And this is a really good way early on to uh, set up further uh, further draws, but you do want to be able to get the colors that you need when you need them. And so you have Underground River. Merrick's, of course, can always make you a, well, if you have enough mana, uh, make you a uh, token that maybe it's not going to be unblockable, but it can allow you to use this first ability without uh, having to discard. So, card advantage. And sometimes, if you're going against like a real control heavy deck, having the ability to pump out those uh, little mites matters. Uh, now, I've had more struggles with aggro than control, which is why I have three uh, board wipes that may cost me one or two creatures. Um, this is not a great hand. It's slow. But if we're going against aggro, we just path of peril uh, when the time is right. Uh, I can put him out. Um, I think I'll hold off on uh, the hacker. I can put out the uh, Satoru Maziwa here to um, suck up some damage. Now, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. The thing is, I'm wondering whether this guy would be better being that vampire that uh, when you attack, it makes use of your stuff, you know? But whatever. We're going to block that one. Uh, and... Yeah. The question is, should I wait a turn? Probably not. You know, a shield riddle be good in this situation if I can get him. Okay. Yeah, that's rough. All right. I have to just jump here and do that. And there's a a very, very good chance uh, that I just lose. But almost survived. And that that's not always easy against red deck wins. And I have beaten red deck wins before with this deck. Um, maybe I should have put out the... Uh, Actually, I should have probably put out the, the ninja, the 2-1 ninja, just to take a spell or some damage or something like that. Um, because if I could have gotten to the uh, the shield druid and been able to survive for a turn, uh, it would have been, if not over, I would have had a very good chance at that point. Now, obviously when you're a ninja, you'd rather be attacking.
right? Let's see if he kills this. Now, it would be nice if I draw a uh, an island or something, but I'm going to attack. I did not. It's possible I will draw something else in the future, however. OK. I'm going to do this. He blocks. That's fine. I'm going to just hold. I have the bitter triumph available. I love this card. I think it's great. If I had had um, a fairy mastermind there, I could have benefited from it. <sighs> okay. So what is funny about it, though, is if it triggers, Shieldred becomes a huge problem. So what I'm going to do is throw out this guy. I got another. Okay. Decline for now. Um What I need, I need to like get rid of him. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack here. Drop this guy. Draw. And. Suppose the hacker. Now clearly, he wants to uh, do as much damage to me as possible. And now, 
Hayat. Hmm. Now that's doing four damage to him until he can take care of children. So... And he can't give that guy blitz, I don't think. Take action. Hmm. I could just kill him. I guess I don't need to do that. That's, <clears throat> that's really a good demonstration of it working. Start with this, then that um, may or may not go with the progeny. All right. In this case, I think we're going up against the uh, vampire bat. <laughs> nope. It's aggro. Obviously, I have long goodbye here. Let's see if he casts something to target it. And let me set this to do the vandal. 
All right, he's killing it anyways. Well. Forget that thing. I think I want him to use whatever removal he has on um, Vandal or well, the Vandal. He doesn't have any. All right, no blocks. This could be a mistake. I need to cast something. in order to keep him from going to a 4-4. Four, four. That's the most important thing. That's the second most problematic, really. And, uh, I'm going to squeeze in one more game, and uh, then I'm going to call it on this one. Um, although I enjoy the deck, and I will play it off, off of uh, video as well. Um, I think I finally found a way to make ninjas work. Are they going to blow away everything? No, but they will be competitive. This deck will be competitive. Uh, and that is what working is, <laughs> really. All right. So I can do the mastermind. We'll see. 
probably, you know, it depends on what he's doing. I'm going to do it uh, because I want him to feel like he has to, like, run his game that I'm not holding back. But again, I've got a uh, really good card advantage here. Now, granted, Sure done with this. You can do a lot of damage very quickly. Um, but I'm gonna give it just one turn. One, two, three, four, five, well, six. So, yeah, okay, fine. All right, so I'll use the Moon Circuit Hacker to get back this guy uh, and Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but because the Eclipse would have gotten rid of all of them, but I would have taken another, I don't know, a lot. It was a questionable call. That's fine, honestly. I already have one. But I could use a beater to hold the ground, I think. Okay, so. Let's just put a beater down. And um, yeah. draw a card. I have him. Hmm. <sighs> I might die here. Can I do this? 
than that. It should give me enough blockers. My life is the issue. No, he brings it back. I got extra blockers plus the end. And go for the throw. That's a risky value play on my part, um, but it worked out. All right, so there you go. Can ninjas work? Yeah, yeah. Ninjas uh, seem to work pretty well. So, let's just, Take another look at the deck, and uh, I'll call it on this one. That feels good, man. I've been trying to, I've been trying to make ninjas work for ages, just for ages. And what's funny is none of the key cards here are from the most recent set. Uh, I mean, I, there's a really good removal spell. Um, but um, in Long Goodbye. But otherwise, this is, uh, what, Wild's Eldraine? Um, so here you go. Now, Satoru. Might we be better served? Might we be better served uh, with uh, him? Honestly, yeah, yeah. Um, I think he does more. I think he does does more a lot more as a blocker, and uh, he does a lot as an attacker. Whereas so Toro here really is more to operate off of other ninjutsu. Anyways, before I collapse my uh, green screen here, probably does look off. Uh, I'm going to get it going, but I will make it. I'll end it there. So have a good one.